Good morning, Huntington Beach. Welcome to yet another edition of KBCH News. Calder Socolo for sports. Jessica Hurricane Waplet. Maria Hernandez. Your anchors. Chris Cantave. Priscilla De La Cruz. Good morning, Huntington Beach. This is your morning KBCH News. I'm Priscilla Dela Cruz. And I'm Chris Cantave. Today is September 20th. Many high schools have an average start time of about 7.30 a.m., but is that too early? Research has found that 20% of students fall asleep in class when they start their school day at that time. Teenagers need a lot of sleep, nine hours to be exact. Otherwise, it's just not enough rest that they need to get by in the day. The Minneapolis School District has changed the start time of their schools from 7.20 a.m. to 8.40 a.m., giving the students an extra one hour and 20 minutes of sleep a day. This has greatly benefited the nearly 12,000 high school students in the school district. Statistics have shown there have been a lot less de depressed kids. They are more alert, punctuality has increased, and there's a decrease in dropouts. The National Sleep Foundation has stated more than 80 school districts have done this change from Minneapolis to Kentucky. Maybe these kids just need to hit the hay instead of partying on school nights. The military's don't ask, don't tell policy is back in the spotlight as the Washington Federal Court gets underway in the case involving Major Margaret Witt. Witt, a lesbian, was discharged from the Air Force back in 2007 after the husband of a woman she was seeing wrote a note to her superiors disclosing her sexuality. The flight nurse is arguing for reinstatement, claiming her dismissal was unconstitutional and that her sexuality has nothing to do with how she performed her job. The Senate will vote next week on a defense to authorize the bill to bring back the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy that prevents gays and lesbians from serving openly in the military. They will need 60 votes to begin the debate, and President Obama would have to certify a Pentagon review of how repealing the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy would impact the troop morale. The report is due on December 1st. Yeah. A major drug lord has been captured. Xavier Gerardo has the latest. The Mexican drug lord Sergio Villarreal, also known as El Grande, has been captured this Sunday by the Mexican Marines. In the city of Puebla, the raiding involved 30 Navy Marines, 5 vehicles, and a helicopter. The reward for his capture was stated to be at a two-point mill. Once again, Mexico's want, most wanted drug traffickers has been captured. This is Xavier Jurado reporting from KBCH. Playboy for the Blind and more news when we come back. Having trouble adapting to the suburbs or even trouble sleeping like young Billy here? His parents just recently left the ghetto, so he's having a bit of trouble getting accustomed to his new environment, as you can see. Well, now we have a solution. Introducing the soothing sounds of the ghetto. It includes such hits as helicopters, dogs barking, Mexican barbecue, drug deals gone bad, and oh, how can we forget the ever so famous baby mama drama. We've even included a bonus track if you call within the next 34 minutes called Carne Asada with Extra Queso. Guess it's true what they say, folks. You can take the kid out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the kid. What do mil millionaire Hugh Hefner and radio personality Susie Hanks have in common? Playboy magazine. Susie Hanks volunteered at a radio station in Houston, Texas called Taping for the Blind Incorporated, reading the world famous Playboy magazine. A California native, been doing radio for 15 years on a classic rock station based in Houston. There she reads everything from the articles, the jokes, the letters, cartoons, and the, di the pictures in full detail. Susie had this to say, I don't have to try to read it sexy, I just read it, and I'm a woman, and that's pretty much sexy. Bob Bartlett, blind since 1981 and a longtime Playboy magazine reader prior to his visual loss, now tunes into Susie's broadcast saying, I listen to her every chance I get. Some people say it's filth, it's not. She helps me be current in pop culture. Not much left to the imagination there, huh, Chris? Straight to silent movie. Alright, and right now we're going to take a look at a new 
sitcom that's coming up. So uh, let's take a look at that. Well, it looks like um, she's getting dropped off at work or something. That, that looks like you, Chris. Right? That looks like you. Who? That one? Yeah. No. Looks like you. you guys are going to be like twins. Are you crazy? I look nothing like her. No, oh my god, she looks just like you. Dude, I'm happily married, thank you very much, and uh, that's not me. <laughs> no, that's, I think you, you're involved with yeah, her. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely oh, oh, you Oh, look, a fight, a fight. So you're no, fighting with someone now. That's not me. I swear that's you. Oh, look, you. he looks like he had an epiphany. No, oh, dude, seriously. Okay, he's having a little dude, too much so fun So you're married there. to Paul Walker and you're all over this guy? Um, no, my baby is at home waiting for me and he is the only one okay well we want to thank you so much for joining us this morning and don't forget to come back next monday same place same time kbch i'm chris contave i'm priscilla de la cruz have a wonderful week